Are you looking for a faster and easier way to set the sag on your e-bike? I've got the answer for you. It's called Slacker. It's a digital suspension tuner that will make setting your sag simple, fast, and precise. Today, we're gonna to show you how to set your sag on an e-bike using Slacker. Every bike has a different amount of suspension travel. Using Slacker, we can calculate the sag percentage best suited for your riding style. Front suspension is linear, and the total travel is provided by the manufacturer, so an initial measurement is not required. The so rear suspension is not linear, so it will be required. Initial measurement only needs to be done once, and this can be added to the app or written down. If this is your first time using Slacker, we recommend starting in the rear to find your total travel. So the tools that you're gonna need are the Slacker digital suspension tuner, the wireless remote, or the smartphone app, and obviously your shock pump. So we're gonna start with our universal mount that comes with your Slacker, and we're gonna attach it securely to the bottom of the frame. Then attach the Slacker using the strong magnet on the back to the universal mount. You're gonna attach the seat rail loop, which is also included, to the seat rail. Finally, you're gonna extend the cable and attach it to the loop. To get your initial measurement, Power on the slacker by pressing the button here on the left. Wait a few seconds and it should say zero. After turning it on, if it does not read zero, simply click the power button to reset it to start back at zero. You're now ready to take your initial measurement. Please note, your seat posts should always be in the same exact spot throughout your entire measurement. We recommend keeping it at full height. So lift the bike off the ground till it's fully extended and then reset it to zero. You are now fully extended and this is your starting point. Next. You wanna find the valve on your shock and bleed out all the air. As you compress, the slacker will begin reading the travel. Make sure to compress the rear fully until it bottoms out. The final reading on the slacker is your total travel, and that's what's used to calculate your total sag. So how do you figure out rider sag? A simple formula is total travel times a percentage of travel that you prefer equals rider sag. If you're not sure, check your owner's manual for recommended rider's sag percentage. So in our case, we have a total travel of 112 millimeters. We like riding at 30% sag, which is a very common setting. So the formula for us is 112 millimeters of travel times 30% gives you a total of 33.6 millimeters of sag. You can also use the smartphone app to automatically calculate these numbers for you. Now that you have your initial measurement, can use your shock pump to inflate it to the manufacturer's recommended PSI or your preferred pressure. You will use this as a baseline to make adjustments from. Next, you're gonna attach your wireless remote or your smartphone to the bars to get your reading. If you're not sure how to set up the app, please contact us at support at motool.co. You're gonna to wanna to place the bike near a bench, a stool, or a wall so that it can balance properly and you're able to mount and sit on the bike, preferably with all of your gear on. Once settled, take note of the number that's reading on either the wireless remote or your app. If the reading is higher than your SAG goal, add air. If it's lower, you need to bleed out some air. Repeat this step until the SAG goal setting is reached. And there you go. That's how you get a precise reading on your sag of your rear suspension. Okay, so now that we're done with the rear, we're gonna be moving to the front. You're gonna to wanna to take your slacker mount, attach it to the base of the fork, then attach the slacker using the strong magnet to the universal mount. Take the fork adapter, which is also included with the slacker, securely attach it to the upper fork tube. Finally, extend the cable and attach it to the fork adapter you're now ready to measure your sag. So to make sure that you're fully extended, you're gonna to wanna to lift it up off the ground, press the button here on your wireless remote or your smartphone app to set it to zero. Once you've got the reading at zero, set it back down. So you're gonna to wanna to check your owner's manual for the total fork travel, or sometimes you can actually find it on the back of the fork. So with our forks here, we have 170 millimeters of travel. We like riding at 30%, which would give us a total sag measurement of 51 millimeters. So just like we did on the rear suspension, we're gonna repeat those steps on the front suspension, which means you're gonna get on your bike, get in your normal riding position. Once you're settled, take note of the reading. If the reading is higher than your sag goal, you need to add air. If it's lower than your sag goal, you're gonna to need to bleed out some air. And that's it. You've now successfully set your sag on your front and rear suspension, and you're ready to hit the trails. All right, guys, this completes the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I really hope that this not only helped improve your setup, but it improves your riding as well. Remember to like, subscribe, please leave us a comment, let us know how this worked out for you. If you have any questions, need any help with your setup, please reach out anytime to support at motool.co. We're happy to help. See you on the trails.